videos are going to be completely just, you know, on get to know these guys a little bit better. I mean, it's not, it's not about uh, how good he does interviews or so on and so forth. I just want to let you know the people that I have in here. You know, what good people they are, you know, how hard they work, how they feel about what's going on. <laughs> so, first we have Jared. Jared Short. Uh, we call him Shark Week. Why? I gave him that nickname because he's short. And the first week that he was here, the first move that he learned was a double leg takedown. And during that double leg takedown, it looked like a shark had grabbed a hold of someone and drugged them through the water. Uh, so he got the name Shark Week. Okay, now that cleared up. Okay, first question. What does the sport mean to you? Well, sport to me, it, it gives me like a, an outlet life, you know, everybody has different things that, you know, keeps, keeps them going in life, you know, like stress, stress release, some people like this, well, I, I do MMA. I mean, when I, when I first joined, I mean, I, I, was, I was scared to death, I didn't, I, <laughs> honestly, I didn't know. The first day, though, I was hooked, and from there on, I, I said, I'm going to stick, stick with this. Kind of like right now, like, even though, you know, even though you're a fighter, and you'll get out in front of, like, thousands of people and throw down with somebody, a little camera like this, knowing that it's going to be on the internet, makes you like this right here, you know. It's the same, you know, it, it, it's, it's natural to be afraid, you know. Uh, to come to a gym like this, uh, uh, mixed martial arts gym, you know, where, where guys, you know, and girls, you know, they throw down full cool contact, you know, you, you think, you think, holy crap, you know, that's not something that I want to do, you know, try it. You don't know if you don't want to do it until you try it. Because uh, when I first got into it, I was scared to death the whole time. But, you know, the instructor I had was a good instructor, you know, he, he kind of led me through it, you know. Um, John Elton, you know, he, you know, he was a good instructor. He, he, he kind of got me introduced into all this. Um, and that's very important when you go to a school, you know. Does your instructor, you know, want to lead you in the right direction? Or does he want to just make money off of you and throw you to the wolves? So, good answer to that question. We'll go to question number two here. Okay, what's your goals in this school? Well, as far as goals, I mean, uh, you know, I want to, I want to pursue this, and I want to see, I want to see how high I can make it. I want to make, I want to make, I want to make something out of this. And well, when I first started, I was, I was in a bad bind. I didn't, I didn't know what to do. I was coming home one day, and so I went and searched around. I heard. But actually, it's, it's funny how I ended up here. Uh, I had a friend who actually went down to the one, the one down the street got before. And I'd actually thought this was the gym. And I went around looking, and I saw this little place off of 15th. And uh, I went in there and asked him, do you know where a gym is around here? I, I didn't know where and I had not that barely been around here. And uh, they said, well, my mom, I can't really help you out. I said, well, that's all right. <laughs> Thank like, you. Well, so I went to turn, and I went out the door, and, and there was a flyer on the back of the door. And it said, by pretty MMA. I said, actually, you know what? That's what I was looking for. Uh, you think you could, you could point me in that direction? Well, so I took one of the flyers, and uh, I called Donald, and I met up with him that night. You know, I got in there, you know, everything. I, I didn't know what to expect when I first walked in. You know, I called him and he gave me directions. And well, when I first got in there, you know, it seemed like, it seemed like a nice, nice place. You know, the people, you know, they treat you good. You know, I, mean, I like, I like a place where you're actually treated like, you know, and you know, people are actually doing really good to you. Okay, so. What you're saying is you want to go as high in the sport as you possibly can in the night and get some bar seconds. Uh, is there any like certain part about MMA that you enjoy more? I mean, I know.
does in mixed martial arts sport? Do you like the combination of all of it together, or are you mainly like you, you mainly like to grapple? Do you mainly like to stand and box? I mean, or do you just love every bit of it, the whole mixture? Well, I love every bit of it, but uh, you, you know what I like is keep that weight down. Right. That's <laughs> good. All right. Now, what gives you inspiration? As far as like you know, you, you know, you say you're having a bad day, and you know you really don't want to go train. Uh, what is your inspiration that gets you back? Well, I mean, you got you have to realize if you're in a sport, you have to go every day that you don't want to. It doesn't matter what day, it doesn't matter if it's Monday, Tuesday, or Friday. I mean, Monday. Monday's like any other day. You just gotta, you get, you, you gotta realize that. You know, that's the way it is with any sport: football, baseball, just MMA. You gotta realize the days that you go are only gonna make you better. And that's it. It's not gonna make you no worse. Not gonna, I don't, I don't care if you get beat the whole, the whole freaking day. It's gonna help, you, right? Consistency, you know. Consistency, you know. I always talk about that to my students, you know. You can be a nobody off the street that has never trained MMA, wrestling, or anything like Jerry here. You know, Jerry has a record of already 2-0 in the cage, 1-0 uh, in the boxing ring. I mean, he's doing fantastic. He's, he's only been here like seven, maybe eight months, somewhere around through there. Uh, and it's, it's just so impressive, you know, how, how fast, you know, he's, he's came along. And it's because of the consistency. Uh, he's here. You know, he shows up to class, uh, he has his bad days where everybody kills him. Then he has his days where he kills everybody. You know, I mean, that's just the way it works, you know. One day you're the bug, the next day you're the windshield, you know. I mean, it's just, it's just uh, the way that this works. So, we'll move on. Uh, what is something that you battle with, personally? You know, like, we, I hear all these people, you know, say, hey, I'm going to come to your gym. But I'm dealing with this right now. You know, I've got a back problem, a family problem, a, 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 a jealous spouse problem. Uh, it's, it's a huge, huge list of things that people, you know, come up with. What, what is something that you battle with that says, Derek, you know, missed today, but you overcome it and you come anyway? Well, that's back to what I was saying, Walker. If, you, if you're going to be in the sport, if you're going to be an athlete, there's certain things you have to give up. I mean, it's, it's just the bottom line. I mean, a lot of, a lot of things you had before that, but you have, to, you have to be willing to pursue that dream. And if you pursue that dream, other things are going to have to fall in, in place. Like you, should. you know, you can't, you can't always, you can't go around and eat what you want. You, you have to discipline yourself. You can't go out and dream, you have to discipline yourself. It's it's basically having your priorities in order. That's what fight does for you. That's what any sport does for you. Sports and life will teach you to respect people and it'll teach you consistency and to teach you, hey, I need to do this in life and really to realize what's bad. You know? Okay. Um, Okay, think, think back when you first joined. You know, you've already told us a story about how you felt and what, what was going on. Okay, so picture yourself in the way that you feel. Put yourself back in that time. Um, for the people that's watching this video, that's thinking, man, I'd like to try that. What kind of advice would you give them? Would it be, you know, just make it through the front door? Uh, how, would you, how would you go about telling and explaining to them, you know, Come to Bible here. How, how would you explain that to someone who's, who's never experienced it? Or how would you say, you know, come to Bible here because? Well, I mean, it's sort of like you said, you gotta come to the door. That's the first, that's the first step of any, of any, any goal in life, you have to step to the door. Doors, doors in life, opportunities are open up. Doors will open up. You know, eventually they'll close if you don't jump on those opportunities. No, but it's up to you to walk through the door. I mean, when I first walked in, like I said, I didn't know what to expect. I was scared to death. 
કેમકે ખુદાઈ જ ના છે you know Jared Jared is a really a loyal student uh loyal students are hard to come by you know we're a small gym uh in a small in a smaller town and believe it or not the smaller town is surrounded with gyms uh so I feel fortunate to have the group that I do have that I call my whole team you know they're the die hard guys you know that are here all the time uh putting in work uh I just think you know it's it's fantastic you know to, to have, you know I, I look at you know I look at pictures of other gyms you know they they got their guys you know that they're there every day you know this you know how many really loyal guys that they got and to be in this little of a town and to and to have all these other gyms around and the competition you know to have this many guys that are loyal and really put in work when they're here It's just awesome. It's, 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 it's just the best feeling, you know. To, to we're blessed, you know. We're blessed to have that, and uh, you know. And I thank Jared for his loyalty. Uh, we're going to go ahead and end this video, but before we end the video, we know I want Jared to go ahead and uh, if he's got anybody he'd like to thank, you know, let him, you know, let him get that off of his chest. You know, with his family, friends, you know, God, coach, whatever it is, you know, that he. He wants to thank, you know, we'll go ahead and let him thank him. And you add him on Facebook, you know, Jerry Short. Follow his videos. Uh, like the Bible Kit page. You know, I'm constantly posting these guys' videos, their progress, you know, their success, their failures, you know, because it all plays a part, you know, in, in their life. Here. So you can just go ahead, Jerry, and thank everybody that you want to thank. We'll post the video. Well, and I'm, I want to start out thanking the family. A lot of them had him growing up, this and that. My uncle, he, he put up with, he put up with raising me. My cousin, and uh, all, your, all you guys. So the whole thing, the whole thing, the whole thing. Right. And you, Don. This guy gave, listen, this guy, when I first started, I, like I said, I was in Bible. I was bad shape. I didn't have nothing. I didn't have nobody to rely on. And Donald gave me a home. He gave me, a, you know, he gave me a family. He gave me a home. He gave me a place to live. You know, he, he done a lot for me. That's good, man. All right, we'll go ahead and close this video out. Uh, like I said, Jerry Short on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Add him, follow him. Uh, if I could get him in May, uh, add the page, I'll be posting the pictures and everything, and we'll have more videos here shortly. Thank you.